kind of a long way from the start of the night to the end to get here, but you got what you wanted. Give yeah. me that deal with the, with the emotions like for you right now. Yeah, it's amazing, man. Uh, when Dana was talking about me, I got super nervous. I was like, oh, man, is he going to sign me? Is he not? And, man, when he when he did, man, I, I was blown away, super excited. If anybody knows my background and what I've came through, man, uh, we, we, we went a long way to get where we are now. And it, I don't think it's really all settled in yet, man. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It's funny you say that because as we were watching it, I think we were all saying, oh, he's passing on him. I mean, yeah. if you were Yeah, here, dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I feel the same way. But, man, we're, we're here, man, and I'm ready to make a statement. Give an idea of the illegal knee. Uh, I mean, what was going through your head at that yeah. point? Are you thinking, yeah. I just ruined my shot? Right. If anybody see, you know, I, I was initially like, oh, man, but, but uh, I thought I felt, him, I felt him coming up. I thought he was coming up. And uh, that was my fault on bad timing. And, I, of course, I apologize to Dylan, and, and he understood. And, you know, and you know, emotions get high in there. Uh, we were both in there super pumped up. The adrenaline's going. But I, I felt him coming up. I thought he was coming up. I made a mistake. And uh, I, I'm just glad that we were able to continue and uh, things worked out. Did that really – I mean, not that you weren't, you know, feeling pressure already or feeling important, but, I mean, when you get a point taken, is that, does that change? Yes, uh, for sure. There, there was definitely – me and my coaches in the corner after that round were like, hey, we got to go out there and get the finish. We can't mess around. And uh, uh, also, we kind of changed the game plan up. Being dropped in the first round, you know, and, and I'm normally a stand-up fighter. And uh, But luckily, I'm, I'm well-rounded as well. Brown belt jiu-jitsu under Rolo Delgado. I was able to switch the game up, uh, take it to the ground, and finish in the third with the arm triangle. And what would you say to somebody that just say, wow, well, his career record's not that great. He's, already, he's not a young kid. Yeah. I mean, what would you say of why you deserve to be here? Yeah, man. Uh, just man, I, I, I'm a sign of, of perseverance, man. I, I got a good story, man. Uh, if it, like I said, get to know me more. I've been through a lot of bumps, a lot of uh, tough roads, but in life, that's going to happen too. And, and I'm a good sign for that, man. I, I never quit. I never gave up. I kept persevering, and look where I am today. Well, that's a nice thing for me. I mean, you're here, but now it's the UFC. So what's when do you want to debut? Who would you like to fight? Yeah. Uh, what well, makes sense for you? Hey, man, I'm ready, man. Uh, I'm ready now. I came out of this healthy. I feel good. Uh, I'm ready to take some on. Maybe they can put me on the same card as uh, Bryce Mitchell. Uh, he's from Arkansas, one of my training partners. G good shout out to him. He helped me a lot this fight. Let's put me and him on the same card and show him how, how good Arkansas is. You fought Peter Barrett. Yeah. Uh, so I, I finished him in the third arm triangle, same way. Uh, no disrespect to Peter. Peter's super good. You've seen tonight he's a dog, like uh, super scrappy, got good hands. Y'all better expect big things out of him. Um, I was just able to get the win that night. Well, I mean, he's another guy who wants to fight soon, so maybe, maybe there's an opportunity, I'm sure he's going to Oh, I don't give no rematches, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What does this mean for you? Because uh, I know, you know, so just to give you a little bit, my girlfriend uh, from Pine Bluff. Really? Next nice. So, what, I know that that area is a little bit more of a repressed area. Like yeah, 100%. Mean to actually bring that area uh, If y'all could see the, the, the support I've had back from Arkansas, back from, from my hometown, man, it's unbelievable. And I think it really inspires some hope down there to, to show a, a small town guy like me is able to just keep grinding, keep working, and, and you, you can make it happen. And I think that's inspiring for them, and as well as some of the younger guys coming up in our gym that are fighting to show them that, hey, it's possible. You get down there and grind, you got to put the work in, you can make it happen. And I want to be a symbol for that. Man, let's make it happen. Me, Bryce Mitchell, Violent Bob Ross, Thomas Gifford. Let's make it happen. Cool, man. Thank you, Thank you guys, man.